guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It On Monday project, and today we are making this super cute honeycomb box. Isn't that fun? All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, this verifies that you were logged in. On this screen, we're going to scroll down until we get to Cricut Access. Click on View All. In the search box in the upper right hand corner, type in the word box. And then click on Enter. And the box we are making is this one here. It is called the Honeycomb Box. Click on that. It will bring up a preview window. Click on Customize. The only thing I changed with the box was the size. So I'm going to click on the box and you can see when I drag it around it is grouped together. So I have the box selected, top toolbar where the size is, I'm leaving the lock locked and changing only the height. I'm making that be 9 inches and then click on enter. Upper right hand corner, click on make it. So I'm going to do a piece here for the inside, a 12 by 12 for the outer box, and a small piece here for the lid. I'm going to click on continue, cut these out with the table and put our box together. Hey guys, we are back. We have all of our pieces cut out. I'm first going to go ahead and crease on all the score marks just to kind of get them started. And I got to be careful on the one on the side because it is rather close to the honeycomb or the cutout piece. Just kind of work your way through it, just pinching it. I'll do the one over here at the bottom. And this one here, and we'll set that aside and work on this one as well. So I'm just lightly finger pressing on where the score, uh, the scoring tool went. And I mentioned before, if your Cricut doesn't do a really good job at scoring with the scoring tool, while it's scoring, just go in there and press down on it a little bit. That'll give you a deeper impression. Just take your time following that score mark. All right, let's take our bone folder and go ahead and give all that a really good crease. Oh, there's one in the middle right there too. I forgot about that one. This is probably the hardest one. It does, it is tedious, but it is worth it when your box is done. All right, so that one is done. Let's work on this one. Let me go in there and grab that center one again. I'm just kind of pinching it as I go. very carefully just kind of pinching it and as you pinch it it kind of grabs onto that score mark for us. Okay, increase that one really well. It is a really cute box. Great for a just because kind of gift. All right, before I attach these, on the very bottom you will see there's two score marks. I'm going to cut them off. Okay, I'm not really lining them up. I just want to cut before the score marks on that one and this one as well. All this does is you fold this down and it attaches to the top of the box or the bottom part. And I find it just to be too bulky, so I always just go ahead and cut them off. All right, so they are done. Let's grab this part, the lid. And again, the same idea, just finger press the score marks first. Just to kind of get them going. You can always lay your ruler next to it as well. All right, so I got the sides of that one done. Let's do this side here. them. Alright, 
our last one there. So a lot of scoring. All right now, we have our black panels that go on the inside of these. And what I'm gonna do is work this way. I'm gonna use art glitter glue. I get it from maymaymayit.com. It has the fine tip that is sold separately, but I do recommend it. And all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue along the side. Across the top a little bit, just to hold that in place. And then just a little bit of the glue, just kind of dotting it around these pieces. Okay, I'm gonna bring this piece in, I'm lining it up with the bottom. And then just kind of give that a second to grab. All right, do the same thing for this one. So I'm putting glue across the bottom, along the side, the bottom here along that side. And then just kind of dotting a few spots on the honeycomb pieces just to help hold it down. Okay, and then put our black piece on. I'm lining it up at the top. And just give that a rub. Now these two pieces are going to fold over. Let's get a quick glue on these guys. Okay, I'm going to take my bone for and just kind of give that a rub. The same for this one. Okay. And I'm going to take my flap and just reinforce that score. Okay, so that one is done. I'm going to go ahead and shove some more glue in there. i got a big gap going. Okay, that one's done. Let's work on this one. Again, the same idea. I'm going to take the glue first along the bottom part, along the side, along the bottom, along that side, and then just a few spots on the honeycomb. one in there. You can always also add, if you want to, you can put vellum in here to make it kind of like a see-through box. You could eliminate the lid and make it be um, like a tea light kind of holder. One of those battery operated tea lights. That would look pretty with the pattern of the honeycomb shining through it. Okay, and along this side, and then again a few spots on the honeycomb. And let's grab our black piece for this one. I'm lining it up at the bottom and bringing it down. Grab my glue, put glue on the flaps. Okay, and then just rub that, make sure it all stays down. And I'm going to reinforce that score mark on the side, that flap. Okay, that one is done. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the lid. Just kind of work your way around the outside of it first. There's all like an itty bitty spot. And just a few dollops of glue here and there to kind of help hold the black piece in. I'm going to plop that in there. Get rid of all the extra glue. And again, just reinforce the flaps on the side. All right, we're good to go. Now we can assemble. So we're gonna put glue on this flap here. Now I wanna go as close to the folded edge as possible. I'm gonna bring this one over and just kind of lining it up and bringing that flap over. Just really holding that in place and just giving it a good rub. All right, now this one, put glue on this piece. Again, I'm going close to the fold. And just bring this one over. And just line it up. Just give it a good pinch. And that is our box. I like going both directions with it. I'm just gonna double check my seams here. If I see a gap, just go ahead and shove some glue in there and then just kind of take your fingers, rub it across it. Okay, 
think we need one more. A little bit of glue there. Okay, so I think we're good. All right, now we have all these pieces on the bottom. I'm going to first fold down that flap, and I actually see a spot. I need more glue. I'm just going to hold that in a minute. Okay, I'm going to put this piece down first, fold that piece out of the way, tuck these little guys under there. Did I come in here with a bone folder? Here we go. Okay. Bring these guys down under there. This one goes under there. This one goes under there. Okay, and then just kind of come in there and just give all that a push. So the bottom of our box is done. Now the lid, really simple, just put glue on the flaps. Then bring the flaps over. It is a really cute box, and it's about four inches, or I think it's four and a quarter tall by two and a quarter wide. This is great for one of those, you know, just because kind of gifts. You can have a fun saying on the front. I did use Maymay's stamp set called Bees Knees, and I did stamp the word beautiful on that piece of yellow, and I matted it with a piece of black. And for our Throwback Thursday or Maker Monday, this Thursday, we're turning this box into a card. So you can stay tuned for that this week. All right, so we'll let that kind of dry. I'm going to flip this piece over. I'm going to put three foam screws on the back. Okay. Give them guys a squish. Take the backing off. And then layer this on top of this piece here. Just like that. Beautiful. I'm going to put glue on the back of this piece and figure out what part of the box you want to be your front. Of course, where that seam is, I don't want that to be the front, so I think I'll go with this one. I'm just going to put it there on an angle, go on the, on the inside and just push it so that glue makes contact. Put the lid on and call it a day. I'm going to adorable. Love the box. There's that one, and there's that one. Now, if you guys want to receive the card kit to make your very own box, just go to my blog, leave a comment, and I'll pick a winner um, later on today or tomorrow. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.